Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things uh, while I'm pulling your cards. Everything you need to know about this reading is um, about my channel is in the description box. I do give away a free personal reading uh, each month. So if you'd like to enter, details are below. I do announce the winner the first uh, part of every month, okay? Lastly, I do have a Meditation Relax Calm channel if you'd like to check it out. There's a lot of different videos there, you know, for meditation, relaxation, you know, if you're doing yoga, uh, also some chakra balancing, you know, attracting positive energy, attracting your soulmate. So check it out if you'd like. And with that, uh, let's get started here. One last card. I'm going to pull here for Sagittarius and we'll see what the energy is. Okay, so I'm going to put your cards out uh, and then we'll go through the energies here. So, Sagittarius, you have number 37, which is time out, okay? So, uh, what spirit and your angels want you to know? This may be a time in your life where you're taking some time to yourself. Maybe you're taking a breather. Maybe you're getting some rest. Um, this can also be a time I'm sensing here. There could be some sort of important decision here that you are trying to make. I feel like this could be some sort of big change in your life. You do have the King of Swords here and you also have the Judgment. So I feel Sagittarius, uh, you're trying to get clarity around some sort of situation. Now for some of you, this could be a love situation, definitely picking up love with the Two of Cups. So there may be somebody here that you're thinking about where maybe there is distance, physical distance with this person, or maybe there is separation. So I sense here, Sagittarius, I, I feel like there's an important decision that you are trying to make, trying to make sense of. You may be trying to gain clarity about what has happened or transpired in the past and really trying to figure out, right, the, cho the choices, the decisions that you have made and maybe how to make things right or, you know, how maybe there's even some healing involved. Now, it doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be somebody very close to your heart, somebody that you care a lot deeply about. Um, but it can just be any decision here in your life. It could be around your work and your career. However, I'm going to say I do feel with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here, that there is someone here, I feel like there's going to be some sort of important conversation between you and someone. Um, and that's where I feel like this is some sort of relationship. And it doesn't matter, you know, it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. So I feel like there could be something that you're needing to clear up with someone, um, communicate with someone. And I feel like this is someone special, someone that you care a lot about. Um, so I feel like there's going to be some an important conversation that is going to happen with you and someone, okay? Uh, you have here the Seven of Cups and you have the World card. I sense here, Sagittarius, there's definitely emotions involved here. You may be having mixed emotions about making this decision or having this conversation. Um, you have the world card here as well. So I feel like you could be closing out a cycle here in your life and beginning a new cycle. Okay. It's an energy here of success around the corner. I want to see what this uh, seven of cups is. Now I'm going to say for some of you, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be mixed emotions. Maybe you have a lot of questions about something. Some of you, this could also be opportunity. You making some sort of change in your life and you may be trying to envision the possibilities here. So let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. All right, we got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. Okay, and we have the Devil. So we have Capricorn energy there and we have the King of Pentacles. All right. So some of you, I feel... Um, 
you may be thinking a lot about this. Uh, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, as I said, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Devil. So again, the Two of Wands showing me that there is some sort of decision. And I feel like this could be something very heavy on your shoulders, weighing on your shoulders. Some of you could even be thinking about making um, a home move, um, something around travel. Uh, so you could be deciding to relocate for your work or your business. Uh, you got the King of Pentacles here. So there is also something here financially I feel involved. So the conversation with someone may be a separate issue, but I'm also picking something here where you may be deciding or trying to figure out how to make some sort of change in your life. And it could involve you know, relocating or moving uh, somewhere at a distance. So I feel like you're trying to figure, you know, things out. Uh, this conversation, I feel that you may have may actually help you in making some sort of decision is what I'm seeing. So, you know, I, I feel like too, some of you could be going through, um, you know, kind of that wake up call in your life where now you're really trying to decide what is important and what do you want for your future is the energy that I get here. So I feel Sagittarius, there's some sort of important conversation that is coming up between you and someone. So let's see what your uh, fairy of the fantasy card says here. Okay, so this says you have a huge appetite for life. So explore the pathway that is right for you at this time, okay? So I sense here, Sagittarius, uh, just as it says, right? You have a huge appetite for life and you may be in a position right now where you're questioning things, right? Am I where I am meant to be right now? And so I feel like Spirit um, is saying here, now is the time to make that decision, to make that judgment call because this you could change your your life right in an instant here so let's see what your message from spirit has to say dear sagittarius do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone or you might have no value maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done be healed, be completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome, but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary, delegate responsibility to another, ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with the impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it. I can't control it. And it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? That best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Loving you so much, so much. So I really feel a strong message here, Sagittarius, about being your true authentic self in making this, this decision because I feel like it's a life-changing decision for you. So Sagittarius, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.